came downtown to grab coffee at um, one of our local coffee, coffee shops down here. Um, it's really cold. Um, it's Saturday morning, it is the 14th, and I'm walking down into Tower Square so I can show you what that's all about. And this lights up at night and is really pretty. And I'm sorry, but seeing it during the day just isn't doing it justice. Um, I might try to get back down here in the evening, one of these nights, to get some footage of it. But I'll see if I can find a photo or two to insert. What it looks like all lit up. It is real cold. Um, it is 20 degrees and it's starting to snow. So I'm going to walk back into the coffee shop and I'll see you guys then. Raising Canes and one of my favorite places to eat for chicken fingers. Oh my goodness, I eat there every day. home and getting ready to open up by Advents for today, so day 14. Um, and then my plans for today, since it is a Saturday, um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down and I'm going to apply this fiber onto my um, Ashford Kiwi 2 and see where I get with that because I really need to clear off some of my nano bobbins. Um, and then I may try to get some yarn dyeing done. It is like 23 degrees out and my studio is in the garage so it might be a chilly one my nose is still red from being out uh, walking in the cold downtown but ooh, there's cat hair um but yeah so i might get some yarn dyeing done today if i don't do it today i have to do it tomorrow and i think we're supposed to get lots of snow or a few inches of snow tomorrow so maybe today is the day to do it um and if i do i will definitely bring you guys along for that and then this evening we're getting together with some friends for a game night so I'll take you along for that um, yeah it should be a pretty good day
I've just finished playing up uh, two of the bobbins from my Wolfine Spinners Advent. Um, this was day five, six, seven, and eight, I think. I'm only able to get about four days worth on uh, my Nano bobbins because they're so small and they only hold about two ounces. Um, I don't know what I was thinking where I was like, I'm gonna apply all of these bobbins together. If I were to do all of them together, I'd have so many ounces of fiber to ply. So I think what I'm gonna do is to create um, multiple skeins, multiple Franken skeins, um, because I'm not sure how much more, I'll show you the bobbin here in a second, I'm not sure how much more I'd be able to fit on this bobbin. Um, so I might take my days one through four that are ready to be plied together and ply those separately into their own skein. Um, I do have a little bit left on one of them because you may remember I was not doing any sort of um, weighing of the fiber as I was splitting them. I was just eyeballing it. So I do have a little bit left over, uh, but that's okay. I will just start adding to this and it'll end up somewhere else in another skein. So um, that's the beauty of this. There is no rhyme or reason. Um, I am just having fun and making some yarn. So Kitty wants the bobbin, she can't have it. Uh, let me flip this around and I'll show you what I've got done. Mew Mew. Here it is. There are so many colors and different fibers in this thing um, that I am really excited to wind it off onto my Nitty Naughty and see it in all of its wonderful glory. Um, it's so fun. Um, I'm going to let this rest for a while, um, at least a few hours, if not until tomorrow, and then I'll wind it off on the Nitty Naughty and give it a good soak and see what the finished skein looks like. And she is taking off playing with some leftover fiber that I pulled off my wheel. Kitten's gonna kitten, right? So I wound the bobbin, the yarn on the bobbin off onto my Ashford Nitty Naughty. Um, I believe I got this off of Paradise Fibers as well. Um, and that's where I got my Kiwi, my spinning wheel. And so now here it is. I'm gonna go toss it in for a soak so I can set that twist. Have you got wind in the silk? There's the other half. Next up is this BFL. And there is the BFL. So that is the got wind in silk. That's the BFL. Here's the rest of it. And now I'm going to add, these are all of the fibers that I have to catch up on, but because I have them all out and I'm looking at them, I think I'm gonna add this one 
and do all the peachy pink colors together. And then these have a lot more blues, so I'll do those all together. Um, so obviously that's three days, so I'll need to wait and see what tomorrow brings and then decide which one it's gonna go with. I think the idea that I have is I'm going to, um, when I do apply these two bobbins together, I'm gonna reverse one of them. Um, so it'll mix up the fibers and the breeds just a little bit more. Um, because I did notice on the one that's soaking right now, um, I spun the, the same fiber together. And so one end of the skein is super duper soft and like uh, merino and Polworth and stuff like that. And then the other end was that Wesleydale and some of the more toothy um, breeds of wool. So I think with this one, I'm gonna reverse one then that way the Scotland and Silk will end up getting spun with something else um, just to mix it up. And this is all for just experiments. Now we have the Rambouillet. And that's what that looked like. So I just spun half of all of these and it took me probably 30 to 40 minutes or so. Um, I'm gonna wait and see what tomorrow's colors bring before I add any more to this bobbin. Um, and I'm not sure, I might just set these aside for a little bit. Um, and then tomorrow, or maybe even later, if I catch wild hair, I will do the rest of these on the other bobbin. But for now, I am going to go uh, dry out my hand spun skein. Thank you. 